Hey, my name is Ken Spur, and today I'm just going to teach you a little bit about cordyceps. Cordyceps is a parasitic fungus that is usually found in the tropical rainforests of Thailand and Brazil. With over 400 different cordyceps species, the one that I will be focusing on in this video is called Ophelio cordyceps unilateralis, the so-called zombie cordyceps species. Yes, I actually said a zombie-like species. Now, how does this really happen? Uh, the cordyceps manipulates the brains of its hosts. Now, let's slow down and go back a little bit, and let me explain how it actually gets into the host and starts to control it basically. The cordyceps actually just starts out asexually and just grows on the ground of the tropical forests like uh, any mushroom that you'd see on the ground. Now, from here, the fungus, now fully grown, actually uh, puts out a stalk that um, releases spores that actually go through the air and penetrate through the exoskeletons of its very specific targets which usually consist of different species of ants. Once the spores have actually penetrated through the exoskeleton of the ant, the ant is now being controlled by the, the cordyceps. It is now in the zombie-like features. Basically, the ant loses complete control of its body and is being controlled by the cordyceps. Now, the ant dramatically changes its behavior. It doesn't take any normal routes it would take anymore. The cordyceps wants to get the ant in kind of like a sniper spot, I guess you could call it. Basically, it's going to go up to a tree, bite onto a leaf. When it bites onto this leaf, which is called the death grip, it begins to die the ant very slowly. Now. It's very interesting what happens at this point, because once the ant has died, it would take sometimes weeks for the full process of the stalk to release from the cordyceps head. And this stalk releases spores to further increase the reproduction of the cordyceps. And these spores would be attacking any nearby insects and immediately inflicting them with this um, disease. Very, very effective and can actually wipe out entire ant colonies. Personally, I actually think that cordyceps looks rather beautiful once the cordyceps has actually fully mutated into what it becomes into the end result. It actually looks kind of nice when you look at it a certain way. I actually find that cordyceps is a very interesting species. It's something that I may want to look into in the future. I feel like it should probably be studied more often because under the circumstances that it can be something much worse, it probably is a good idea to look into it more. How does this actually impact us? Well, cordyceps is actually quite expensive. It's on the market and is sold daily. Fortunately for humans, it is very beneficial to us and is actually used in hospitals to cure many illnesses. On a little darker side, maybe a bit more scary, cordyceps can be something much more if you start to use your imagination, or if you really just look into history. Imagine if cordyceps could genetically mutate and affect humans. Well, I mean, you could look in the past and see how something like this has already happened. AIDS, as the classic example, jumped from an animal to a human. Imagine if cordyceps could jump from an animal to a human. The results would be catastrophic. Movies and media have already portrayed this, and you probably already know what it would look like. But uh, it's just a theory, so maybe you watch out anyway. 